Hey everybody, I'm Marion, the Inappropriate Artist, and today I'm trying something different. I have Velcroed the phone to the ceiling, so I think already I like it better, and uh, you guys actually get to see what I'm doing. So, I am working on cutting up my work to present for sale and photograph. So this is one of my little sky studies that I did the other day, and I've already mounted it to this lovely little handmade paper. These were old invitation papers that I had left over, so, um, and I found them, and I was like, oh my god, I have something to work with. I really didn't want to use more watercolor paper, because I do kind of need that, you know, uh, down the road. Although I do have some Bristol that I can use to cut up also. So, anyway, we're not going there right now. So this is uh, idea. No this is the first idea I had to um, do a simple presentation for the work. So that's what it's going to look like finished. Now let's get to it. So I started cutting this one down already, so you can see my edges but I will show you um, what I do for cutting down. This one I'm gonna do a little differently. So I'm gonna put that one aside. All right, um, where's my ruler? Here it is, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is make some lines, right? Um, I kind of have a, an idea of border size and I just do it by eye right? Because, you know, I guess I've been doing this a long time. You can measure it out and decide how much space you want around. Um, I wanted about an eighth of an inch, and that's about an eighth of an inch. Might be a little more, which is fine. There's side, about an eighth of an inch, about an eighth of an inch. La. So I like to sing while I'm doing this work. All right, got lines all over the place. Lines, lines, everywhere there's lines. All right, gotta be careful. I don't wanna end up with somebody going, you stole my song. No, I didn't. I know it's your song. All right, already I can see my borders are a little bit uneven, but I'm not gonna cry over it. And here we go, because I can always trim tight, you know, in different areas to make it work. That one looks good. So it looks like I gave myself a little bit more of like a 3 16 inch border than an eighth inch border. Yeah, and there's my OCD. Welcome to my world. All right, here we go. Boom. Now, I like this space. Um, for signing so I'm that's about three-eighths of an inch so here I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna give myself about three-eighths of an inch now I'm making a mark because I'm getting further away from the edge and I want it to be even all right just in case someone decides to do a float here we go Oh, it doesn't look like I did anything to adjust that. I probably didn't. Okay. <laughs> um, and, you know, on a, on a good day, if I had extra cutting board, I would cut these with a ruler and a razor blade. Um, that is my preferred way of cutting down paper. Uh, but since I do not have access to cutting boards um, and I have limited space here for storage... The scissors on my friend. So, I don't cut the whole line in one fell swoop. And what I do is I aim the tip of my scissor for the line. Giving it support all the way through is really important in the careful cutting. It's 
So underneath, my hand is supporting the back of the scissor in order to keep it going straight. I'm kind of guiding it. My fingers underneath to make sure I stay straight. All right. And I am bundled up here today. It is a chilly day here in Maryland and mostly overcast. So my toes are blocks of ice today for sure. Um, but hence the reason I chose this as my project today. So I'll going to just do these guys and we'll be all set. All right, yeah, let me get a little tighter. Now here I'm letting the stove be my steady guide. So see how nice that comes out. Once I get this trimmed, now I'm actually pulling a little on the paper in order to um, give them give there some tension, right? Because when you're cutting paper, that's an issue. Um, that's why you end up with little coifs, like I got over here. Because um, I needed a little bit more tension that I was providing myself with. Uh, where did my little nugget go? I'm just going to check on the little nugget. Okay. Sound asleep on the front seat. Okay. So now that's all done. We've, we're, all, we're all trimmed up. And let me grab my handmade paper, which I put away like an efficient worker. Always putting everything away after I use it. Sometimes I'm too efficient. All right. So one, two, three of these guys. I believe. Um, right, because I can only put one on, yeah. So, that's how these are going to go. Are, I'm deciding how I'd like my borders to look. I like doing a little bit of weight on the top and bottom when I have a, a like, kind of a, this is, it is, it is a horizontal, but only just slightly. I kind of like this. Um, perspective and the not perspective that's not the right word wah, wah, orientation there's the word so um, but yeah and then I like taking them and making them verticals it's just one of the things I enjoy doesn't ever have to be presented that way if you like your even borders go for your even borders I like a little bit of a weighted bottom um, I, it gives the eye a uh, place to rest. Plus, when you're looking at things, that's where all the shadows fall. So it tends to actually look more like an even mat when you have a little bit of a weighted bottom. Just a little bit of information there. Maybe too much. We'll see. So this is how that's going there. And then... All right, and then with my scraps, like these fat ones, I'll hang on to these um, because I can use them for testing color later. And get my borders the way I like them. And then artist tape. Okay. Now, 
I don't want to have a whole ton of tape on the back of this and there's no need for a whole ton of tape to be on the back of it this is a temporary mount um, if you if you do buy the painting and you get a frame that you can fit all this into awesome congratulations um, but these aren't standard sizes that I'm working with uh, so sorry about that I was not thinking in terms of standard sizes when I did this um, I've been a custom framer, like I said, for 25 years. So, uh, yeah. I always think in terms of I can always cut them at to fit whatever frame comes in. So, now, I have my place in, placement where I want it. And I am going to carefully lift this up without bending the paper. I'm going to put my tape in the center on the back just lightly right just enough to get it to stay in place and then I can push it down and there all done very simple so now this has an awfully heavy weighted bottom it's more than I want so what I am going to do is with my ruler measure out so up here, what do I have? I have an inch and a quarter. So down here, I probably want to do at least, so I'm going to the image. All right, so here there's like an inch at the top. So if I want to do um, a, a weighted bottom, I guess, you know, the science of it would be, that's why I'm going from the image and not the bottom of the paper, but the science of it would be, I guess, like one and a half inches on the bottom um, cause you add half of the, of the measurement here to whatever's on the bottom. So if I'd done two inches, then I would add an inch and so forth and so on. So here I've got an inch and f I've got five and five eighths inch. I've, blah, 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 blah. We're starting at the five eighths inch mark. Um, five an inch at the top. I'm just going to slide it down to make my life, life easier and say an inch and a half on the bottom. And I'm going to make a mark. Um, let's go over here. All right, inch and a half on the bottom. So here's my inch and a half goes to here. And again, my inch and a half goes to here. I'm gonna draw a line for my cutting. These are the days when I miss having my mat cutter because I could just slice this stuff up in a heartbeat without a thought and some stops but here I am okay so there's my line and now for some careful cutting again using the surface of my stove as my steadying point and I you know again we're not doing full swaths of cutting here I'm cutting it in pieces because you try to go the full line and it's uh, usually you end up getting pretty curvy at it there we go and there we go so that's a nice little presentation and I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll be back and voila we have four little pieces mounted. It took really no time at all. As you can see, I did one in real time for you. Um, and yeah, so that's just a really simple way of presenting these small pieces. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I believe below there is a button that you can click that says subscribe. And then a little notification bell so you can receive a notification every time I put out a video. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Marion, the Inappropriate Artist. And you'll be able to see these up on my Instagram later today at the Inappropriate Artist. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.